Another horse dies at the Del Mar racetrack. That's the third this month. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alicia Summers and I'm Steve Price. Both the Del Mar and Santa Anita racetracks are grappling with a string of horse injuries and deaths. The backlash led Governor Gavin Newsom to give the California Racing Board 30 days to enact a new list of recommendations across the state. News 8's Monique Grego has more on the changes in the latest horse to be put down. Monique? Steve and Alicia, the board recently put out that list of 16 new recommendations with the goal of improving the safety of the horses. Now, they include stricter criteria for allowing horses to race after an injury and canceling races if the track has been affected by weather, which they enforced earlier this week. But as of now, the changes don't seem to have quieted the sports critics. It's been a tough year at the Del Mar racetrack as high profile horse deaths continue to ignite a heated debate over the safety of the horses. The latest death happened this morning. According to the California Racing Board, a three year old gelding was training on the main track when he broke down and had to be put down. Koa is the ninth horse to die while training or racing at Del Mar this year, including three horses injured in races on the same day back on November 10th. A spokesperson for the CHRB told News 8 their main priority right now is a enacting a list of new recommendations to improve the safety of racing and that they take each death very seriously. I've been in this business for 40 years and, and I've never, I, I, I couldn't even have conceived of the steps that are being taken to protect these horses. He says the track canceled races on Thanksgiving Day due to the stormy weather to protect the horses from any issues with the track. It didn't resume until they went over the track with our chairman, Dr. Ferraro, on Friday, Friday morning. They walked the track. The track was deemed safe by the organization's top veterinarian, but in this latest case of COA... He does not believe that this uh, fatality this morning was surface-related. Still, critics of the sport have said one death is too many and have long called for an end to racing, which they believe is inhumane. And late this afternoon, PETA released a statement calling for an investigation into COA's trainer, which they say has been linked to at least six horse deaths in California this year alone. However, this was his first death at the Del Mar racetrack, and we did put up the full list of new recommendations on our website. Just click on this story.